Welcome to another look at the new features in ArtRage 4. Today we're going to look at the Gradient Fill. You can access the Gradient Fill by accessing the Fill tool, going to Settings, and selecting Gradient, which is already selected here. You can use Blender Mode to change how it's going to interact with the canvas. You can pick the opacity. Uh, you can choose the gradient type, which is linear, radial, angle, reflect, or diamond. Also, you can choose smoothen, and this uh, smooths the steps between the points in the gradient area. Uh, the higher this value is, the smoother the transitions will be. And also, I can reverse the gradient. If I went to a lot of time to create it, and there's a lot of different points, um, this would be a simple way to do it. And now there are two ways to create gradients. I can just do a single click on the canvas. And voila, I have a gradient. This doesn't look like much of anything. So let's just jazz this up a little bit. So I'm going to go to the gradient area. So here I have my main color. So I'll choose red and secondary color. I'll choose green. Let me change this color here. Okay. And in the middle, I will just leave that as it is for now. So let me just show you the two ways to apply the gradient. So I could just click here and gradient is applied. Or I click and drag. Uh, that's why I have a diamond shape. That's why it doesn't look so good. So you can choose linear, so I'll click and drag, and there, voila. You can see how the gradient is applied. Now if I just click there and click and drag. So those are the two ways to do the gradients. So let's say you don't want them on the whole canvas. So you just create where you want it to apply. So a single click. Oops. and click and drag okay okay now let's go back to the gradient edit editor which I gave you a sneak peek at so you access that from here so you have to access it from the settings and open that up okay at the top are the controls for, second, for selecting the main and secondary colors which I showed you uh, here's the gradient itself and above this are the points. You'll see these are circular guys to choose a color. Uh, this shows the midpoint between the two, two points here. And on the bottom, these control the alpha channels. So when I select this, you see it controls to transparency. So I can make, so you see it's now 23% opacity. Now each point between, you can see that this center point is between here and so I just select it and I can add a point and there's new center points that appear between each two points. That's always gonna, going to happen. And these alpha controls are independent. So I can make it transparent just in the middle and still have 100% on the sides. So you have a lot of control over here. And now these center points, I can click and drag to move them around. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So to delete a point, I just select it and delete it right there. Okay. So now we're back to where I want now. But again, it's just as easy as that, just to click above or below to add some points. Uh, so I can add it here for color and add it down here for transparency. Click and hold on the sample to get the color wheel to select the color. So now let me click and drag. 
And let's just get rid of this tracing so you can actually see the colors. Okay, that's much better. All right. Okay, so again, this is flexible. I can move these, move the center points. I can move the transparency, move the center point for the transparencies, and keep this now. Another thing is I can add these gradients to uh, the collection. So I click Add to Collection, and I will name it. So this will just be Test. Name it a Test so I can find it later. Okay, now I go here and I go to Select from Collection, and here's Test already there. Okay, and that's the only thing I have in a grading collection, so no problem there. Now another thing I can do is I can import a gradient from Photoshop. So I click Import Gradient. Okay, so I can select any gradient here. So let's just do Metals. Open that. Okay, so now I can select all or whatever I want. I don't have to select everything. Uh, so I'll just select that and now these metals have been added okay so now they are in so I go here select from collection Click OK and now I have my new gradient Okay, so that pretty much covers uh, the gradient fill tool. So thank you for stopping by. And remember to share, subscribe, and rate, and comment. And go out and just create. Bye.